What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I literally just landed back from Bora Bora. I had a crazy week with Nathan for his birthday and um, all my best friends came with me. It was magical. We will definitely be having a vlog on my channel next week. Okay, before we dive into the drama, I just quickly want to mention that everyone has been dying to know the release date. I'm going to exclusively start announcing it on my channel starting today that the Manny MUA Jeffree Star Cosmetics Bundle is back and if you haven't seen the packaging, here is the new revamped one because inside there will be a brand new highlighter which we will reveal later this week but the bundle and all the items that are in here the new highlighter the old highlighter eclipse and both liquid lips will also be available individually but if you want the bundle will be $50 and it will be launching September 9th so while I was away the infamous KKW Beauty powder contour and highlight kits launched and the whole internet has been waiting for my damn review so hi I'm right here last week girl the internet and, and media they really are trying it so of course I have to address it if I'm gonna review this product last week I tweeted something out right here and I said Kim girl why does this powder look chalky basically Kim K went on her snapchat and she was swatching her powders and I woke up that morning and the internet is so funny like y'all are crazy my whole Twitter feed was Jeffrey what do you think about the powders oh my god they look crazy they look insane why do they look so dry like the whole uh, my whole feed was nuts and everyone was like what do you think about it and I'm like rubbing sleep out of my eyes like what do I think what is going on here so I go to Kim's snapchat and I watch it all and I'm like Girl, them powders like sounded dry on her snap. Like they just like looked a little chalky. So of course my tweet went a little crazy everywhere and everyone started talking about it even more and then it turned into a circus. Y'all know I am very abrasive with my opinions. I'm always a very honest and I really don't hold back, but I'm just a very honest person. And when I see something like that, I'm like, girl. But I also come from a very sarcastic, silly place. And of course, if you don't know me personally or you haven't been following me for a while, you don't know that that's kind of my humor. So I put up that picture, which you guys saw, um, and then let me zoom in, and this was her on her arm. So I screenshotted her snap, and I put it up, and I was like, oh my god, like these looked a little rough, which the majority of the internet agreed with me, okay? Then, all of a sudden, a few hours later, I'm filming, I'm packing for my trip, Kim goes on Snapchat and references me. And guys, I see that my fans are totally hating on someone like Jeffree Star for being, you know, honest about my struggle swatches. <laughs> but because of his remarks, I'm learning how, like, from the best, like, from Mario, like, how to swatch properly. So, guys, like, and I see you being so petty, bringing up things in his past where he, you know, was, you know, negative, but he's also apologized for those things. And I get it's a serious deal if you say, like, racial things, but I do believe in people changing and people that apologize I will give them the benefit of the doubt and accept you know that people change and move on and I know better than anyone that I hate when people bring up my past or mistakes that I've made in the past so let him live like I welcome honest you know comments about my products and because of it I'm swatching better now so so everyone get off his ass and let's not be so negative. We're all in this together. There's room for all of us. Love you, Jeffrey. The whole internet turned into a bloodbath. So I get texted by a lot of people, even my family, like, oh my God, Kim is defending you on her Snapchat and she's telling everyone to like stop judging you for judging her like swatches and I'm like what the fuck so basically Kim was actually owning up to the fact that she really didn't know how to swatch which I gotta say one thing and I know a lot of you out there were questioning her ability and wondering why okay if you're gonna make a makeup brand and show it off and make products how the hell do you not know how to swatch which is a great question so moving past that Kim said that she was um, not even mad that I called her out and she knew that she's not great at swatches and that she's still learning um, and that she appreciated the feedback now obviously um, if you know anything about her she also has kind of a sarcastic humor and if you've ever seen their TV show um, she's down for some laughs so I got on snapchat and I was like okay Kim like thank you because um, I was just being honest I wasn't trying to be evil I wasn't trying to be shady but of course her following is is a hundred times bigger than mine and her 
fans came for me so hard for judging her swatches. And of course, what do we do every time we have a feud? Whether it's with Kylie, with Kat Von D, with Too Faced, with everyone that I've ever had drama with. I'm, I'm always down to expose some truth to you guys because this beauty community is very crazy and there's a lot of behind the scenes stuff that the audience does not get to be you know witness to or see and I have definitely exposed a lot of things and it makes people very angry so every time that there is an online feud or a fight we always have to reference the same song and dance um, of comments I made 12 years ago. You know, Kim even went on her Snapchat and said, hey, I met Jeffrey with a clean slate. I don't judge him. Um, the past is the past. Um, and she basically said for everyone to get over it. She basically meant for everyone to get over like harassing me, like leave him alone, get off his back. But a lot of people took it for, hey Kim, you can't tell us to get over what I said, which you guys look, we're beating this subject into a dead horse. Um, I love everyone. I don't give a fuck what anyone says, whether it is Us Weekly or TMZ or anyone that wants to keep reusing the same 12 year old subject. You can't tell me I'm racist bitch because I'm not. And yes, I said some fucked up things a long time ago. Really, every time that I get into a feud, we're just gonna keep referencing the same thing. You can't tell me I'm something I'm not, everybody. So, okay, I wake up the next morning um, and Kim went on a whole Snapchat rant about me and I wake up the next morning to all of this. All these crazy news stories, um, literally hundreds of them. I was shook. I looked at my phone and I was like, oh boy. Now, I know a lot of you are probably gonna be like, Jeffrey, you love drama, you're all into that. There's a difference between drama and truth and integrity and I've always been about giving you guys the facts, 100% the facts. You know, no one can buy me, I don't give a fuck who you are. Um, but I woke up to a lot, a lot of hate and craziness um, and there was so much media attention on this subject because of Kim, I got thrown under the bus a little bit. Now she did reach out to me. I do want to put that on record because so many fake stories are out there. Kim reached out to me the next day. We spoke on the phone. We're all good. Obviously I'm about to review her product because yes, she did still send me her makeup. So there's a lot of news outlets that are like, um, Kim hates Jeffrey and retracted what she said and blah, 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 blah. like I don't even know what the fuck I'm getting on an airplane going on vacation and the whole world is going nuts So when you deal with someone at that volume of like fame you are in the mix So I just want to say one thing and then we can move on is that thank you to everyone out there that supports me that watches my videos That has bought in my makeup brand that has even just liked a picture and that has just supported me and you know me, you know that whatever the media says, it's full of shit. Here's the thing that I want you guys to really think about and digest because the like media is very scary. It is all calculated. They wanna make money off of people's misery, off of people's pain. If there is a divorce, if a celebrity breaks up with someone else, if there is any sort of anything, if there's a DUI, it is everywhere. So what do I have to deal with? I have to deal with everyone regurgitating the same song and dance from these old high school videos and people trying to make me seem like I'm a certain way, but no one ever wants to talk about the positive. And you know, I'm definitely on a you know different path and I'm sorry for running my mouth and making this intro so big, but I just wanna let you guys know that drama is drama, but really, Take it with a grain of salt and remember that these people love making money off of this stuff. So, you know, you even saw it last year from Kat Von D drama to now. People have used my name to get clicks. People have lied. People have made crazy stories about me that have literally never happened. People have photoshopped tweets and Instagram posts that I've never even made. Sorry for that long rant, but um, yeah, this has turned into a crazy circus. But I do want to note that um, if you are someone that is on the fence about me or you think that I'm all in it for the drama, I declined every single interview from CNN to TMZ to the Daily Mail to the New York Times to every single person that emailed me and called and reached out and wanted me to shit talk Kim or run my gums. I'm good. I was in Bora Bora sucking dick and relaxing and drinking Red Bull on the sand and enjoying time with my best friends because I am not into feeding into that garbage. So moving on, if you want to write a story about me to get clicks and make ad revenue and make money off of me, I can't stop you. But my following and the millions of people out there watching are not stupid. So anyway, if you want to see me review these damn powders and get to the review, then keep on watching. All right, so this package, you guys, I feel like I'm lifting weights. It is heavy. Now, I really haven't seen that many reviews on this yet. I know that they just launched a few days ago, so everyone will probably be getting in the mail um, very shortly. So I am really excited to try these because after them swatches, bitch, I was like, 
All right, now this PR package is very heavy, you guys. It stays with her whole nude theme. Of course, oh hi, there's my cell phone. You see the huge mirror, which is nuts. And of course, it comes with all three kits with three brushes, which is pretty cool. So this is like, this is a nice package. Um, okay, now let's dive in. So of course, I am going to review what I think would probably fit my skin tone, which is the light kit. This is the brush. Now these retail for $52 individually. You get the kit and a brush when you order it. And you know what's funny? I'm gonna say something real quickly is when I reviewed the cream contour, um, I liked the formula. It worked for me. I know a lot of my other friends like Tati and Laura Lee, they liked it as well. But so many people were mad that I liked it. And then when I read her for not liking something, it's even crazier. So with the internet, you guys, you can't ever win. You just gotta keep doing you. All right, so this comes with four shades, of course, and I'm sure you guys have seen it all over the internet by now. So let's open her up and see what you get for $52. It does feel nice, it is heavy. Now immediately, it reminded me of this guy, so I'm just gonna say it. The same exact measurements, okay? Let me just open this up here. This is, of course, the Kylie Wet Set. If anyone ever wonders if the same lab makes the product, which is not a bad thing, I just wanna put that out there. Hootie hoo, there you go. So these will literally look like the identical component except this one has a little bit more of a gap here while um, the Kylie one is a little slimmer. Now when I say that the same lab makes their products, that is not a negative. Um, my lab also makes a bunch of other brands as well. Um, obviously, I'm not their only client. So this product, you guys, has 0.26 ounces in each pan, which that is actually a lot of product. Um, this feels heavy, very heavy, actually. It has a very big mirror, which I love. Um, and of course, you see the colors here. There are two highlights. Highlights meaning metallic glows, not to um, highlight with like a flat matte powder, so these are um, metallic shimmers. Now these two, I've seen a lot of people judge the bronzers online, they're trying to say that this one is like very orange. Yes, it does look on the more warm tone side, and this is very cool, which I love because I am very cool toned. So we will try both today, um, maybe this on this cheek, this on that one, and then of course we'll try the highlights, duh! because I'm a highlighting whore. Now, there's not a lot of instructions about the brush or anything on the box, but of course, that's what the internet is for. Let's read what this is exactly supposed to do. So, contour, shade, sculpt, and highlight with the KK Beauty Powder Contour and Highlighting Kit. The soft, buildable powder formula makes application easy and blends effortlessly for a seamless look. The pressed powder quad features two mattes, ideal for sculpting the hollows for the cheeks, hairline, nose, and jawline. Two shimmer highlight shades for brightening and adding glow to your, of course, everything. Cheekbones, keep bow, nose, corners of the eyes, collarbones, vagina, radiant shimmer everywhere. Layer the two shimmer highlight shades for a more intense glow. Okay, so they want me to do both on one. Use the angled brush to apply and blend the contour and the rounded brush for highlight. So when things come with a brush, you guys know I shy away from it because if you love your own brushes, why not use them? So I definitely have my own little three that I use when I'm contouring. Now if I don't like this brush, I will go to this. This brush could be great. Now the first brush, um, we all know this one from the cream contour. It was all right, this one did blend out. People were mad that I liked it, like it blended out. I don't know what to say. This side was a definite flop. Now I know that you can take these off and interchange them, so if you have one wand, you can put this one on this and keep this. Um, as you see, they are the same thing. So I think it's only fair that we zoom in on the pan and let's see what happens when I touch it once because um, that's what I do. So let's see here. Okay, look at one hit. All right, so of course, from hitting it a few times, there is definitely some payoff on the brush, of course, as you see right there. Is it even? I don't know, I can't tell. So I guess let's just put this on the hollow of my cheek and see what the hell is going to happen. Now, I always tap off my brush once. Oh, okay, work. Now, let's see what happens. Now it said that it's buildable, which obviously it's not like the craziest pigment, which I don't want anyway, because I don't want to have to blend out. Just from doing a few little like hits in there, okay, it's obviously showing up on my skin. Let me do a little bit more. Now the brush, it does feel like, I'm gonna say semi-soft, like it feels soft, but on the skin, I don't know if I like how it's blending. I mean, it's, it's, yeah, it's blending. So now we have, of course, this side, which has nothing. Let's turn and show this side. Now, I heard a lot of people complaining about this being way too warm. I'm not, like, 
I'm not mad at it. So let's just take it a little bit more and let's see what happens. And we can even do our jaw. Oh girl, okay. <gasps> that fucking showed up, girl. Okay, I think the more I like dipped in, it really held the pigment onto the brush. So I'm gonna take the opposite side and just go over it. Of course, this has no product on it. I, I almost like it better on my cheeks versus on my jaw. It almost looks a little more like, oh lord, girl. Now, of course, let's do the forehead a little bit. Now, I would never use this brush to, um, to do my forehead. I think that it's too, like, it's too thick, which you'll probably hardly ever hear me uh, say out loud again. So I'm just gonna take this Morphe brush and just dab in to there once. All right, let's see what happens. All right, so it's looking subtle. It's not looking too crazy. Now, I do wanna say one thing that I'm a little shocked about. Like, I was expecting this to look really orange on me, but obviously, you guys, um, if you follow me on Snapchat, you know I was just, um, you know, on an island in Bora Bora in sun all day, and you know I'm an anti-aging whore. I hate being in the sun, but there's a few times a year when you just gotta let your your body live and my ass got tan my face got some sun I was jet skiing and swimming with sharks and stingrays so maybe I'm liking this because I personally am a little more tan myself but I'm not mad at this now my forehead you guys looks a little patchy only because this brush I mean it's it's hard to get into the hairline I'm just gonna be honest I think after my hair surgery I feel like pigment does not stick right by my hairline I don't know why I can do everything in my power and unless I like put it into my hair it looks a little patchy so I think it's only fair that we try the very cool bronzer color on this side and let's see how we feel you guys I'm just gonna grab a clean brush from um, the medium kit so we've already had product on this one I don't want to dirty it up so we'll put that over there all right, so we're gonna take this, you guys, on a clean brush and let's go into the other bronzer and let's get some product in there. As you see, she looks like even more, not pigmented, but more like fallout and a little dusty um, than that side. All right, so this definitely is a damn, this is a cool ass bronzer. So let's see what it looks like on my skin. Okay, so let's just do a little comparison. So here is the more warm contour on this side. And then let's do a little turn and here is the cool side. Which one do you like better? Obviously you guys will have to sound off below. But they don't look too far off, even though obviously in the pan, and I will swatch them with my fingers in a second. They are two very different colors. But on my skin, they're not like reading that far off. I don't mind this at all on camera. This one is definitely a little more might like tone for the jaw, but of course we guys should do the nose as well. So I'm gonna use this little Charlotte Tilbury brush. Now of course you guys, I'm going to use another brush. And guess what? You know I had to have two for this. So we have the warm side over here and then now we will dip in with a fresh brush with the cool side. All right, so I did the contour a little harsh on my nose so you can really see the colors. I don't even know which one I prefer. Like, this is a more warm side. I'm just diffusing it a little bit with the powder brush. And then here is the cool side. They're not that drastic on my face, which is kind of bizarre because they are very different in the pan. So before we do the highlighters, let me just take these and I'm just going to do a little finger swatching myself. Okay, and let's do it on my hand. So of course, let's just do a little bam. Obviously powder, and I'm always debating back and forth, like, you know, should we ever care or trust finger swatches? And of course, you don't use your fingers to apply your beautifully airbrushed eyeshadow or your contour. So, you know, I think that finger swatches are great for showing colors for Instagram and Snapchat, but at the end of the day, you're not gonna use your fingers to put on the contour. So, um, yes, Kim's swatches were very rough. Her makeup artist, Mario, shout out to Mario, hey girl. Um, he came on her snap and showed her how to swatch better and the pigment was definitely way different when he kind of went in way harder probably. Who knows if she was touching it good enough or like how... But anyway, looking at this, they don't look bad on my skin at all but they are very two different colors and I actually like both. All right, now let's dive into these two highlighter shades. One of course is a very cool tone. Are they blinding? Are they not? I guess we are about to see. I will use both um, of the highlighting sides of the brushes to try these out. So let's just dip in and 
see what the hell is going on here. I don't know how pigmented these are, so I don't want to. So pigmented. I don't want to douse my whole head in highlighter. Well, I do, but you know what I mean. So we're just gonna be a little careful here. Oh, I'm looking in the monitor like, oh, all right, girl. I mean, you know she loves a glow. I love highlighters and this one feels really soft, which is kind of um, not shocking, just I didn't know it was gonna be like that. Wow, this is actually way prettier than I thought it was going to be. And it definitely has some shine, it looks nice. It's not like too overwhelming, which, you know, I do like that as well. Okay, so that is this color by itself. Let's grab the other brush and try this by itself, and then we'll mix and match. Ooh, this one even looks more metallic just from touching it, let's see. And definitely I'm wrong. So this one to me is way more like subtle. This one is more light. Okay, so this side is definitely not as blinding as this side. I'm actually not living for this color by itself. As you guys can see, it is not as reflective. It's very subtle, which of course Kim is not into a blinding highlight. This is more my style. So if you are someone that is not into that either, you do have both options. But I think it's only fair that we take this and put it on top of this and let's see what we got. Did that do much or did that not do that much? I mean, I could kind of see it, but yeah, it intensified it for some reason, but it doesn't look as crazy over here. So I guess let's take this color and let's put it on top of this. Okay, cool, so you guys see how they look. Definitely loving this one a lot more than that. So I am going to take this brush and just do the tip of my nose. All right, I'm just gonna take this brush real quickly and do a little inner corner highlight, of course. Oh, hello, a lot of product picked up on that brush. Now I already have a little bit of color in there from something else, but I'm just gonna kinda tuck it right over here. Ooh, there you go. I had it on more of a golden tone. This one is very white. Okay, inner corner. I mean, if you really wanna take an inner corner and have a moment, there you go. Now the other side, I'm just gonna take that brush and see if it wants to work over here. All right, you guys, now I had no idea what to expect. Of course, when I saw them finger swatches, I was like, girl, okay, I gotta try this for myself. And Yes, oddly enough, they blend amazing on the skin. You guys saw the bronzer shades. They blended really nice. I think I even like this side more, maybe because I am a little more, uh, you know, more tan now. This one is still really pretty. I love how this looks as well. I would honestly use both of them. I'm not mad at them at all. They worked good. There was great pigmentation. Um, now the highlighters, I really love this one. Obviously, you guys saw me just use it. It is very light. I almost want to go into the medium kit and try that highlighter in the future as well. This one, of course, you guys just saw me. Not really into it. It is definitely more for the subtle person who is not into a beacon of light on their cheek. So if you are that person, you are going to love this one. This one is actually very intense, as you see here, 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 and here. Now, I'm not like hating this brush either. I felt like, you know, like I said, I would not personally use this day to day. I would go into what I know and love because those are my tools and, the, and that's what I get ready with. But the brush, I like this one a lot more than this guy. Bitch, come on. This did blend the contour nicely. I would have preferred my own brushes. It probably would have done it quicker, but it got the job done. I'm not, you know, I can't say it didn't work. This side, of course, put on the highlighter very thick, so if you're someone that wants a little bit more subtlety, you know we're just gonna go in with our little Morphe 510 brush and keep it really real here because this is a lot easier. I think that for highlighting, this is very big, and some people have smaller faces, like, put Laura Lee's head next to mine, girl. I look like a horse. <laughs> Let's uh, give a round of applause because the KKW Beauty Powder Contour and Highlight Kits are Jeffrey Sour approved. Woo! I know a lot of you were probably a little shaken and shook by hearing that right now, but yeah, they are. And all drama aside, if a product works, bitch, a product works. And I think that's always what I'm gonna be about. I don't care if I'm dragged through the mud, I'm still gonna try this shit, and I'm still gonna be honest with you. Now, do I think this is worth $52? I don't know, that's where I go. Look, to me, you guys, I know you're all gonna roll your eyes and be like, bitch, you don't care. Um, and I really don't, for me personally, I'm down to spend money on makeup because it's my entire life and world, so I'm always gonna buy the shit. Do I think everyone out there watching should buy this in particular if you already have your favorite contour powders? No, obviously. $52 is a lot for four little shades. You know, you can get something even cheaper from like Lorac at Ulta, and there are three shades and, you know, two mattes and a shimmer, and it's obviously uh, a little less costly. Besides that, I will definitely try out the medium kit highlighter, 
and I will try this for a few, few weeks and you never know, it may fall into me using it a lot, I may never use it again. Only time will tell. All right, you guys, thank you so much for listening to me ramble and try this stuff out. Um, and thank you for watching another Jeffree Star approved review. I will see you guys on the next one. Mwah. Bye, guys.